I've been in Kyrgyzstan more than five months now and I've been all around the country. So, here, in my opinion, are the top five things about Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan is one of the best places for seeing Soviet architecture, street art and monuments. And the good thing is, if you're a Russian speaker, you don't get the anti-Russian feeling here as you do in some of the other ex-Soviet republics. I think there's about a quarter of a billion Russian speakers in the world, so it's quite an important language. And if you are a Russian speaker, you can come to Kyrgyzstan and speak Russian pretty much everywhere. Indeed, in the bigger cities, it's far more common than Kyrgyz. One thing I've really enjoyed about Kyrgyzstan is its climate. It's so varied, it's so interesting. I spend most of my time here in the winter. Now the winter was great because it was nice and cold and snowy, but not stupidly so, not like Siberia temperatures, but cold, but bearably cold. In the other seasons as well, a lot of variety, sun, rain, wind, fog, mist, you name it. So never a dull moment in Kyrgyzstan, weather-wise. The only slight downside is that the summers can be very hot. But if you're here in the summer, then I just suggest instead of staying in the cities, you just head to the mountains or to the lakes. One of the nicest things about Kyrgyzstan is just how warm and welcoming and friendly the people are. Not a day goes by where somebody doesn't come and have a nice chat with you and uh, welcome you and uh, want to get to know you. In fact, only now, just a minute ago, I was sitting on the bench there and uh, a lady came up to me. I was quite surprised and as she spoke English, coincidentally, she'd lived in London for 12 years. And the Kyrgyz people, they're very relaxed, very calm. You never see them shouting or being angry with each other or arguing or fighting or anything like that. Uh, I don't think I've seen that once the whole time I've been here. So you can just walk around anywhere in the country, day or night, and you never feel unsafe or threatened by anyone. Uh, like I say, quite the opposite actually. You get a, a warm welcome wherever you go. A good way, it seems, of making friends here is to wear the cowpack, the local hat. When I started wearing that, I used to start making loads of friends. I'd just be walking down the street and people, mostly men, it must be said, uh, the other side would be shouting, saying, whoa, cowpack! Uh, so that created a lot of uh, interesting uh, foreigner in their local hat. So you got a lot of respect from the brothers type thing. I don't think the women were particularly interested in a man in a cow pack. Didn't seem to do it for them. But uh, the men, particularly the, the older men, the guys in their 40s and 50s and 60s who wear the cow packs the most, you know, big respect from them for wearing the cow pack. And the only other group of people that seemed to take any notice of it was the uh, teenage girls. When I walked past them and seeing me in a cow pack induced giggles from them. But One of the very best things about Kyrgyzstan is how affordable it is. You can live very comfortably here for not very much money at all. And you can still enjoy yourself if you want to go to the theatre, like the one behind me. That will cost you next to nothing. If you want to go to the cinema, again, next to nothing. Eating, very cheap. You have a lunch, dinner for a dollar, quite easily. I mean, there are more upmarket places you can go to if you want a, uh, a fancier restaurant. They've got them as well. But really, for your everyday basic needs, Kyrgyzstan must be one of the cheapest places around public transport practically free taxis very cheap i guess not that i take them 
In fact, when you travel around the country, if you go to any simple cafe, you get a large naan bread and a pot of tea for free with any meal. So you can have a very good filling lunch for actually less than a dollar. This is the 200 some note and it's like two dollars but this note can get you just about anything you want. Theatre ticket, cinema ticket, lunch, or dinner, you name it, you can get it with this. Probably the most wonderful thing about Kyrgyzstan has to be its nature. Even the capital city is very green, but the fun really starts when you get out of the capital city and start exploring the country and you discover that it's actually 80% mountains. Mountains everywhere. Snow caps, jagged mountains, lakes as well, lakes everywhere. The scenery in Kyrgyzstan is stunning. You can't fail but to be inspired by it. You see animals roaming around, horses and cows and all sorts of other things as well. So really, if you're going to enjoy Kyrgyzstan, you have to get out of Bishkek and really see and feel the raw natural beauty of this country.